Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Daddy and Me. Today, we went to McDonald's and uh, ordered almost everything on the menu. Yeah, so basically what Brady wanted to do, he's seen it going around in a couple places where people do like a feast or order everything. Well, yeah, like unspeakable, did he do it? I don't know. But so what I did, I capped it to 25 bucks for Brady. So I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll have us a, a feast, a $25 feast. And uh, the first one he chose was McDonald's. So this is the uh, this is the loot that we got for twenty five bucks. Actually, we went over by forty one cent. It was actually twenty five forty one with tax. So, but this is what we got. So we're gonna, I guess, start eating. You ready? Mm -hmm. What do you want to open up? Open up first. Oh, uh, I'm so excited for this right here. Okay, this is oh that is a McDouble. Ooh, let's see if the McDouble's good. Yep. Can I take the first bite? Go right ahead. You know what I didn't do? I didn't get us a knife to cut that bad boy. You want to grab us a knife real quick? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, here's a McDonald's. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. So these are on the value menu. I don't know. I think they're a buck fifty or so now with inflation. I feel like they used to be a dollar, but they've gone up. Um, Still the same. Looks like it just has ketchup, mustard, onions, and pickles and cheese. So. Oh, God. Mm. Thanks, buddy. Okay, yeah, they're pretty good. They're still pretty good. I haven't had one of these in a while. These are a lot of times for me used to be a late night snack, but uh, mm. when you was a little kid, pretty good. Uh, as an adult too, sometimes coming home. Mm. Want something to drink? Okay. Didn't have enough dollars for the tea, so we had to get us one from the house. All right, so that's good. You want to give it a score? Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. What's your score on that one? Go five. Five. Five out of ten. Yeah, that's about right. I was gonna actually gonna give it a six. I actually I like the McDoubles, haven't had them in a while. And uh, they're still pretty good. Alright, what do you want to try next? Mm, fillet. Filet of fish. Okay, here's the next one. So if you're uh, if you're a fan of the show, you know we did a fish sandwich review a little while back, and this one actually was Brady's favorite. Mm -hmm. So this is the filet of fish. I haven't had like one of those in a year. Yeah, so they are, I mean, it's been around forever. So here we go, man. I'll cut this bad boy up. That way you can have your own little piece and I'll have my own. And we'll uh, see how it goes. Here you go, buddy. I'm not excited. Okay, this one. I'm uh, really not. Basically tartar sauce, cheese, and fish. Pretty, uh, pretty basic. Does have, I will tell you, the bun on this one's super soft, though. That's good. That is good. It's actually, I think it's better than I remember when we when I had it last time. This is actually really good. I thought I wasn't excited because I have like I've had these a bunch. Wow. Yeah. So what's your score on this one? A seven. That sounds about yeah. I I I'll agree with. I give that's a good probably. Seven. Seven out of ten. I, it's actually much better than the McDouble. Oh, dang. Let me get super Dang, I can't have a sip? It's okay. Okay. All right. Well, um, so, what do you want to give it a whirl next? French fries. Fries. Okay. These have been around for like the longest time of all time. French fries always been around. Actually, um, these have been around since Jesus was around. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a uh, little known secret, I guess, was that this one, of the, uh, or was McDonald's French fries some of the things he served at the Last Supper? Yeah. Yeah. So, McDonald's fries. Um, one of the things they're most known for, actually, and uh, so, we, let's see how we go. Mmm. Can we put a little Polynesian sauce Still on good? there, Daddy? Yeah. So, what Bray's talking about, nothing to do with McDonald's, but... We stole some Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. We love Polynesian sauce, so we always have a little bit of Polynesian sauce around the house. And this makes everything better. So, yeah. You want to Just drizzle it all over the front. How about I just do this so you can dip some in? Ooh. There you go. Get Polynesian. It's out when Dick's in. So, what's your uh, score on these french fries before you drizzle it all over the table? Nine. Nine out of ten. Okay, yeah, these fries are pretty good. Um... I may want to dip my sandwich in that. I'll give you a, a good solid six. Probably an unpopular opinion, but I'm not a huge... McDonald's fries are good. But I can kind of do without them, to be honest. Mm. 
Mm. All right, buddy, what do you want to give the next guy? Chicken nuggets. Okay. So here's the next thing, chicken nuggets from McDonald's. This one now, when I was a little kid, this is what I ordered almost every time I went. I love the nuggets. And uh, so we're gonna give these, well, what did you, you pick to dip these in? Buffalo sauce, cause we love hot things. Yeah. So in true Brady fashion, the sauce he selected was buffalo sauce. Didn't so. we watch a bunch of hot ones last night? Yeah, yeah, we do. We watch with well, don't. I don't know if they have McDonald's buffalo sauce on it, but they do have some hot stuff. On yeah. It. So let's give these a go. I didn't really know that the last app was two men in Scoville. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Pretty that's, good, actually. That's very good. Wow. The buffalo sauce is, I'm going to be honest, is better than I imagined. It, uh, it's got a good little spice to it. But actually, would be good if maybe if you mixed a little bit of ranch with it. Yeah. I'm gonna do what Brady did and steal some of this Polynesian sauce, though. Mm. Oh yeah. So the nuggets. What's your score on these nuggets? I'll give it a good another nine. Another nine. Um. Yeah, they're pretty good. There's another one there if you want it. Mm, nah. Nah. Um. Pretty good nugget. Um. On its own like this, I think it probably scores a bit higher than when if you were comparing it to somebody else. But they are, they're exactly what you would remember for a McDonald's nugget. I'd give it a good probably 6 out of 10. Um, again, probably really good on a late night snack or something like that. Oh, So well, what's next? Spicy chicken sandwich, right? Spicy chicken sandwich. Is that no. this thing? Oh, oh that? yeah. That is the quarter pound of a cheese. Whoa, what's a quarter pound? So here, before you get to go on. Is that the big old sandwich? Basically, a quarter pounder of a cheese is what it is. It's a quarter pound of beef. Um, it's kind of like their traditional. It's got, again, same as the uh, McDouble with the ketchup, mustard, pickles, and onions. It's just much bigger. It's a quarter pound of beef. Well, I say beef. Whatever they put in it, we're going we're gonna to call it beef. So, uh, it's another one of their iconic sandwiches. Have you ever had one of these? No. No? This will be your first time. Here you go, buddy. I wonder, are they good? I don't eat them that much. They're okay. I'm going to look at, I don't like these big old onions though, if I'm being honest. I'm not a big raw onion fan. I love onions. I'm going to take these bad boys off of mine. But, you ready? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wait, it gets good as you eat it. Yeah, pretty good. Um, Mine, I just taste a lot of mustard, to be honest. I'm going to put a little bit, I brought some ketchup too. I'm going to put a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Cheese, I'm gonna you know? put a little bit of ketchup on mine. Wow, that's actually very good. Just to see if that helps it out. I want me to get some more tea because we're kind of running out. Yeah, go get us some tea or some water or something. You didn't drink it all. Sorry if I'm leaving the camera again. I'm so sorry, guys. So I'll go ahead and give my score on this, this quarter pounder while Brady's getting us something else to drink. I guess we should have got a bigger cup. Um, pretty good. Adding that little bit extra bit of ketchup helped, believe it or not. It just it made it, it balanced it out. I don't know. Either that or I just got a huge bite of mustard with that first bite. Pretty good. I'm on a scale, on a 10 scale. That's probably a good, I would say, solid six. Um, if I'm going to eat a cheeseburger, I'm not really going to pick McDonald's. But, like I said, this quarter pounder is not too bad. I'll give it a good solid six. What about you, bud? A six? Yeah. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Okay, we've got a few things left. What do you want to do next? Big Mac. You know, this is my favorite thing to get on the road. It it's, so, it's so good when you get them on the road. Yeah, so the Big Mac, again, it's one of their, their I guess, I guess that McDonald's have been around. They're so popular. The Big Mac is another staple for their, and, and Brady, the, for oddly enough, ever since he was a little kid, Big Macs have been his favorite thing. I can remember they used to have this thing. I, it might have been called a small Mac or some kind of Mac. It wasn't quite a Big Mac. I used to get them for Brady all the time as a little kid, and he would eat them and love them. Now he just gets Big Macs and eats them. So this one, if you guys can remember the song, uh, To All Be Patties, Special Sauce. I don't know how it went. Lettuce, onions, or something like that on a sesame seed bun. I don't remember. That's basically what it is. The special sauce is probably Thousand Island. But uh, yeah. special sauce, lettuce, 
cheese, onions. So you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Yeah, that's very good. Wow. Real good. That might very be my, unexpected. Probably my favorite thing we've tried. I haven't had a Big Mac in a while, but man, this is good. Wow, yeah. Another thing the Big Mac does have is it has the the middle piece like a third bun, so to speak. Um, I don't know if that just separates it. I don't know why they did that in. Probably just for filler because the patties are so small. But it works. And that, that Thousand Island or whatever you want to call it on there mixed in with the cheeseburger. These are really good. Wow. That's very good. My favorite thing we've tried so far. So what do you want to score on this one, buddy? Mm, shocking 10, 10. A 10 out of 10. Okay, very good. Um, Not quite a 10 for me. I would give it a good nice 8, though. Wow. I don't remember what I gave the filet of fish. You get you get filet of fish like a six or seven. But this is a little bit better. If I had to choose of the two, I probably would pick the Big Mac. Wow. So it's really good stuff. All right. Well, we got a couple things left. What do we want to give it to next? This one. Mm-hmm. Crispy chicken sandwich. Okay. Well, this is the crispy chicken sandwich. If you couldn't hear Brady mumble through the nine bites of food in his mouth, I guess. But uh, so this is their new. I think this is the new sandwich for. Uh, McDonald's. They put it in a bag. I don't know if it's the kind of. It's, I think it's their attempt to like, com, not really compete, but to go with the uh, the Popeyes, the Chick Fil A's. I feel like everybody's doing a new sandwich these days. You you want the pickles to have? Of course. Mm, sure. Um. So th this looks like this with McDonald's. And it's basically a, a crispy chicken sandwich with two pickles. Well, the bun kind of burnt to be honest. Sorry, McDonald's, but yeah, they toasted the bun. They might have toasted just a little, a little much, but not too bad. It's a different kind of bun than others. It feels very salty, even though it's kind of flat. I don't know if that's from Brady pressing it down, but it's not as you know fluffy. But here we go. It's just plain. Actually, before we, uh, I'll try it like this. But I think this would be much better with some sauce on it. So, you ready? I'm taking the pickles off. Pickles? I'll eat the pickles. I, I hate pickles. You ready? Mmm. 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 Kind of tastes like the fish fillet. Well, yeah, um, it's plain. Since it's McDonald's, maybe if you tried it with some other dipping mm -hmm. sauce, mm -hmm. you want Polynesian? Yeah. Or, if you have handy dandy Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce, you can try that. I'm going to try it just because it's McDonald's. I'm going to give it a whirl with this buffalo sauce just because you can get it from McDonald's. Definitely has a little flavor to it. I guess, and I guess in essence makes it a buffalo chicken sandwich. Pretty good. A little dry. But... It's still pretty good. Not too bad. So what's your score on this one, sweetheart? Sweetheart? Mm-hmm. See if you're paying attention. Well, I'll give it I'll go six. Six six is about right. I'm gonna go with six also. It's just run of the mill. Um it is a little bit step up from I guess their traditional chicken sandwich, but I don't know. Just kind of dry for me. Alright, well, last but not least, I don't know what this thing is. It's whatever it's spicy. It, it was put in an inside out wrapper. So is it oh yeah. The I spicy I McDouble. No, okay. spicy in the house. So I've never had one of these, but I've had tons. I guess we're going to put buffalo sauce on it. I've had tons of regular <coughs> McChickens on those, like I was <coughs> mentioned earlier, the, the late nights uh, with the McDoubles. <coughs> would get the McChickens as Ooh. well. All right, guys, I think I have coronavirus. Oh, Lord. Uh, we need to get my mask on. <laughs> but uh, I... Uh, these McDoubles, I guess, on the value menu, too. There's a spicy version now. I didn't know. So this is what we're going to give it a whirl. Brady's added buffalo sauce, so it's going to be extra spicy, I guess. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a whirl. I did double. Mmm. Man, this is pretty good. I put double. Yeah, well, you just made it your own concoction. What in the world did you do? Made a big. You added the Big Mac with the crispy McChicken. Or spicy. Pretty good. It's pretty simple. Before the buffalo sauce, like it was just lettuce and mayonnaise. So the added the added buffalo sauce, you know, helped out a little bit. It's pretty good. What do you think of this one, bub? Oh my god, you're gonna make a mess. Sorry. 
Sorry, Daddy. So what's your score on the uh, spicy McChicken? Hmm. Mess factor, I'm going to say, is about an 8 out of 10. Um, not quite as messy as the fish sandwich as Brady has done, but he has already made a mess. Wow. Actually, that's a good 10, 10. 10 out of 10. Okay. I've never been like this, guys, but I've done, I've, I've also very little them. I've been giving everything time about a little food right now. I'm not sure what he said in there because his mouth is full of food, but I think it was 10 out of 10. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Well, guys, that's kind of pretty much it. As you, as you can see, you can get a, a fair amount of food for 25 bucks. Um, don't really recommend getting this much food for two people, but, uh, anyways, this is what it was. My favorite thing, I'm going to go on record, my favorite thing was probably the Big Mac. What about yours? Mm, watch it. Yeah, Big Mac. Big Mac was your favorite? Okay. Um, that's going to do it for today. We want to thank everybody for watching. Um, got anything else you want to say? Yeah, um, we got a new camera, to be honest. We got a camera now. Oh, well, not really a new camera. What are you talking about? We got a tripod to hold our camera just to make it a little bit easier for us um, when we're doing these filming just so our cameraman doesn't have to sit there and hold the camera the whole time. So we made that out. Um, actually, one thing we did just do, uh, we got a, a Facebook page for the Daddy and Me for Brady. And um, so we got that going now. So that'll be another way to help everybody uh, keep you engaged with uh, what's going on with Brady and, you know, maybe some insight and some videos and things. So we got that going. Be sure if you haven't already, go and, and uh, like or follow or whatever you do on Facebook for that, for Brady. That way you can keep up with him and know when the new videos are coming and things of that nature. And that's going to be it. Um, anything else you want to say? Yeah. Yeah, the buffalo sauce does have a little kick to it. Okay. The buffalo sauce does have a little kick to it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this week. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care.